Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, August 20th, 2021. The fire potential impacts for the next couple of days are shown here. We have some lingering isolated showers and thunderstorms over the central Idaho mountains and into western Wyoming today with drier conditions further south. On Saturday, another cold front moves through for another round of showers coming to Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah with some gusty winds and low relative humidity over northwest Nevada. On Sunday, the showers move out, but the smoke returns to much of Nevada, southern Idaho, and even into northern Utah. A warming and drying trend is on tap for next week. The smoke forecast for this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon is shown here. Today we have a little bit of a break in the smoke. Um, some of the smoke starts to return tomorrow to Nevada, uh, and then we'll see more returning um, into Sunday and uh, early next week. Precipitation for the past 24 hours is shown on the left and lightning on the right. Uh, yesterday was another wet day over this eastern half of the Great Basin with the bulk of the thunderstorm activity uh, and lightning activity over Utah and western Wyoming. All these storms were on the wet side. Uh, fire activity has been light with some initial attack fires over western Idaho and uh, this little cluster over southwest Utah. Precipitation for the past seven days is shown here with the inches on the left and percent of normal on the right. It's been a very wet week over the eastern half of the Great Basin, or wet couple of days anyway, um, with some impressive precipitation amounts. Uh, this band here, yellows and reds, are between two uh, to uh, three inches of precipitation, which is almost unheard of uh, during the summertime months. And we're over 600% of normal. That's as high as it goes on this scale, um, but it's probably even higher very uh, unusual event for the middle of August with all this precipitation. Very dry still over Idaho and Nevada over the past week. This has led to uh, kind of a wet half and a dry half of the Great Basin, very low uh, fire danger across the eastern half of the Great Basin, with still uh, moderate to high fire danger on the west, especially over western Idaho and western Nevada. Closer look at the mountains of central Idaho. Uh, the current ERCs are right at average for the time of year. Temperatures have been cooler up there recently, keeping fire danger, uh, these fire danger values somewhat moderated. And then further south over southwest Utah, the values are below average for the time of year. This morning's satellite imagery shows that low um, that draw, uh, drew up all that moisture moving off to the east. And so we'll expect things to dry out today, especially over Utah and Nevada. There's another low uh, moving into the Pacific Northwest that will impact us tomorrow. So for today, dry across the Great Basin, uh, no high risk, some lingering precip up north. A uh, closer look here showing where that precip is expected today over the central Idaho mountains, eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and maybe some showers over northern Utah as well. Minimum relative humidities are quite low still over Nevada with those values in the low teens and uh, much higher further east and north. On Saturday, that low over the Pacific Northwest quickly uh, dives down into the Great Basin, bringing another cold front and chance of showers to the north and east. Uh, very dry conditions and very strong winds are expected for, for much of the southern half of the Great Basin, but we only have high risk for Nevada as that's where the fuels are um, dry enough for that to become a problem. So again, the wind on Saturday uh, should be pretty gusty over all of Nevada and Utah with those gusty southwest winds, west to southwest. Um, but a fair amount of precipitation is coming to Idaho uh, and northern Utah and even northern Nevada. Uh, so that will uh, mitigate those winds in terms of fire danger. Um, but dry conditions still over western Nevada, so that's where we have those high risk issues. On Sunday, that low quickly moves up and out of the region um, for a return of dry conditions to the Great Basin. Uh, some just very light breezy winds remaining over the southern third of the Great Basin on Sunday. Uh, low relative humidities, especially over Nevada, but we'll start to see them decreasing further north and east as well as we enter into a drier pattern next week. 3D precip totals are shown here with uh, precip coming again mainly on Saturday to Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah uh, and parts of nor northern northeast Nevada as well. On Monday, the dry pattern continues. No high risk. Uh, temperatures will still be at or, or slightly below average uh, for the time of year starting the week. 
um, but temperatures will increase as we continue to see um, the warming and drying moving back into the Great Basin. For Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, the same story, maybe a little bit of moisture returning to the central Idaho mountains, but continuing dry over Utah and Nevada. And that pattern really holds through uh, the bulk of the work week next week. The seven day precip totals just really highlighting what we're expecting today and especially tomorrow over the northern half of the Great Basin and then dry thereafter. The extended forecast taking us into the first couple of days of September. It's calling for above normal temperatures, returning to the Great Basin, especially the southern half, with below normal chances for precip across the north. And this concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.